What's up everybody? This is Motormer coming to you from beautiful Southern California with a continuation of what has become a taco nightmare. The 100 Taco Challenge that I've been participating in for the last almost week already has been going not that badly actually. I'm up to 55 tacos, so I'm over the hump, past the halfway mark. But it's starting to get kind of grueling actually, to be honest. It's pretty difficult to keep this thing going. For one thing, my stomach's getting into a little bit of a, a wreck with all the meat that's going into it. Uh, you know, when you're just eating nothing but like meat and little mini tortillas every day it sort of starts to take a toll on how you feel physically it's not good and on top of that as predicted uh, it's becoming a little bit of a challenge to source my tacos for example right now it is 10 o'clock on a Saturday I just got myself going for the day and the first thing I had to do in order to get breakfast was jump on the bike and run out to get tacos so because it is close convenient and cheap I'm hitting up the Del Taco again Gonna grab myself some crunchy tacos, that'll become my breakfast, and then for lunch I'll try and do something a little fancier, but it's just not the most convenient thing in the world to have to get up first thing in the morning and run out to the taco spot to get yourself breakfast. And it's not just like a one-time thing that it's annoying, it's like every meal. If I don't pre-purchase a whole stack of tacos to last me throughout the day, I have to go out and get them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'm doing great. Can I just get uh, 10 crunchy tacos? And that's it. Thanks. Sorry. How are you, honey? Good, how are you? Good. I'm just going to throw it in there. Oh my gosh, I love your wallet. Thanks. I used to have that duct tape. Oh yeah? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you saw it on the covers, it was cool. That's nice. Do you want hot sauce now, medium or hot? Uh, take some hot. There you go, honey. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. Drive safe, okay? I will. There's lunatics out. Oh, I know. <laughs> Have a good day, honey. You too. Dang. World's most friendliest fast food employee ever. Well, that brightened up my morning a little bit, but I stand behind what I said earlier about it being a little bit of a hassle to go out and get tacos for every meal. I sort of predicted that that was going to be the case. The more unpredictable aspect to this is how it made my body feel, because I don't typically eat that well to begin with, so I didn't think that eating tacos all the time would make me feel gross, but it is making me feel kind of gross. I feel a little bit uh, sick, like I feel full all the time. Even when I'm hungry, there's like this weird pit in my stomach that just feels like this, like there's a gravity in there. It's just like this mass of stuff. It's not a good feeling. But anyway, the, the challenge over, overall is going pretty well. It's more than halfway done now. Actually, with these 10 tacos that I just bought, I'll be up to 65, so... You know, we're, we're, cool. we're, we're on the home stretch here. Things, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna succeed in my challenge.